This is Crash Eyed and you're watching Gale Siren. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, you're watching Chaos Sign and we are in uh, Rockfest, Hyvinkää, Finland. Today uh, we are interviewing Crash Diet, Martin and Gabriel. Hello and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how's it going? You are quite fresh of the stage. How was the Rockfest looking like from there? Uh, from, from my point of view and uh, what I've experienced through this day, it's been awesome. And it's been fantastic, and it's been everything that's good. What do you think? I totally agree. Good. Okay. Uh, do you have any time to check out other bands here at Rockfest? Yeah, I actually. Are we won. <laughs> we, we're gonna do it as well. So yeah. we we want to check out Nestor right now yeah. during this interview, yeah. but we can't. We're sorry, guys. I I wanted so bad to check you guys out, but. It is what it is, but I actually watched uh, a bit of Escape the Fate, their show, and uh, they were awesome. Uh, very good, like pumping music, like it's kicking your ass. So I like that kind of band. They have the image as well, so that's awesome. Do you generally go see other bands in festivals yes. when you go there? Yes. I'm actually really bad at it. But uh, tonight we're gonna watch Def Leppard and Motley Crue, right? Mm, obviously. Mm, yeah. <laughs> uh, about live music and festivals, how important is live music and performing to you as being an artist? I think <clears throat> if you think about per performing, I think it's very important to actually bring a great show and be like 100% all the time. Especially when it comes to band a band in our size, and I think it's generally it's like you should always like give your best and and like <clears throat> never be try to turn to the lazy side because that's that's death for me. I, if if I'm I'm really bad at like checking out other bands, but what i feel like when i come to a show what i want to bring is like energy i want the people to be a part of our show that like they're in it like we're all together oh, shit. and uh <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> no but but i think that bring the energy yeah, and 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 you know be that you really like invite the people to be with you mm. and not like just be there by yourself for your own like yeah, it's very interactive yeah yeah, yeah. and that, that's that's my vision of it what what do you think about it i wasn't paying attention <laughs> uh can we can we bring my brother in here, <laughs> yeah, can, my, here. michael come here come yes. music this and what's my, most important about it right my li li uh, little up? brother Hello, guys. so it's michael he's our drummer right now so what do you yes, think we, is we, most important when it comes to live music um that performance energy yeah i think uh, it has to be fun you know for all of them if it's not fun i would i'd rather be at home but it's been fun like for a long time now so i'm i'm quite happy yeah that's great it should be like a fun experience for not just us for the audience well, mainly well. us you know the audience, of course, but mainly us, because as we, if we have fun, the audience will have fun. Yeah, of course. That's true. What do you think about? What was the question? The question was. Yeah, that? so we we got uh, a third uh, part here. So uh, how important is live music and performing you to you as an artist? Oh, it's everything. That's why we Ooh. wake up every morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is what we strive for, I think. Uh, what kind of venue do you prefer, like uh, festivals or clubs, or w what's your favorite? It's, it's very. I think I think all of us agree on that. Like playing small clubs with a lot of people is like the most. Um, what do you say? Like. Um, 
the most exciting thing because it gets so like intimate, intimate. Right. and I I actually like big venues with with a, a, a small amount of people you know very I'm about to say tits I know <laughs> <laughs> no it's just joking no but uh it depends it's it's so like every venue is different mm. from the other so I think we we love to play small places with when when you get so so you you're so tight with the audience that it's very intimate like you said Thank you. and uh, it's like you have an orgy no 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 i'm just joking no but <clears throat> i think it's you get this really tight feeling with the audience and you know people are shouting and you know laughing and having a good time but also it's it's very exciting to play a bigger stage, you know, especially a festival space. Uh, can't talk. A, a festival stage where you can see all this a massive crowd with people. You get so excited about it. So, so it, it, it's, it depends. Maybe on the day, or I don't know. But yeah, but I think it's like every time you play, it's exciting. So yeah, it's good. Like it's it's really hard to tell it, when. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you've been touring quite a lot. Uh, do you have some some kind of epic things that have happened to you on tour? You had oh. something later, uh, uh, earlier. You said, "What? What did I say earlier?" That you ate a sandwich once. Oh yeah. Was it in Belgium? I, yeah, it was in Belgium in like 2013, and I. I went to the beach and I ate a sandwich. It's pretty fucking crazy. It is. You know, crazy stuff happens. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. <laughs> I almost dropped on the floor. Oh, no. You know, you always forget all the crazy <laughs> things because that happens when you're totally uh, too drunk to remember. So. Yeah, well, that's that's a problem. Uh, do you have any? routines or habits that you do before going on stage something that you always do uh we have a new routine now that we we paint our asses with letters yeah that, that's i think we should continue doing that that's our first routine actually actually you started it in Finland. Yeah. or we do like oh. maybe do the laundry or Maybe clean in the kitchen before we go. Or... What? But do you have any routines? Uh, my routine is uh... <laughs> we we worry a lot. Yeah. I'm um, just. I don't know. That's the biggest problem. We we worry. We we go around and like worried about. Yeah. Just what, what's gonna happen next? <laughs> we just go around and worry about stuff, you know, and then. Uh, and then it's time for the show pretty soon and we we kind of like get focused and we're like oh it's it's really happening i th i think i'm the le least word guy here oh lösa sig liksom det löser sig i always say in swedish the lösa sig it's like it solves itself it solves it solves itself it solves itself that's good no, but uh, yeah, we wear it a lot and uh, we drink some beer and then finally we have a pep talk before we go on stage. That's it. Okay. I think we try to find a good, like, a positive vibe. Mm. But we always, always fa fail. We always fail. Well, that's, <laughs> that's good after all the worry. But you know, you need to have some, some guys that are worried and they have some... The worry is, is part of the... the uh, the experience the experience it's like you have to worry a lot before the show and then after the show it's like you feel like a king yeah exactly so that's the answer yeah if, if you if nice it was clear <laughs> yeah yeah um you are now touring with a temporary lineup uh how has it been it's been quite surprisingly surprisingly good and awesome i think we're in the it's been awesome awesome it's been awesome yeah i think it's been a good experience for everybody because uh, i don't know 
you know, it's been crushed out, like, you know, about the history of Safan. You know, it's been a lot of rough years for the band, and I, I'm pretty new as well. So, but I think it's been, um, you know, we have such a good people around us that we can, if we need someone to, like Sam, the bass player, and Mike, he's jumping in on drums right now. We, we have such a good chemistry in the band. So, we, I think we had a, like one, one of the greatest times yeah. of our years right now. And we, we were actually quite worried about like exchanging members like again mm -hmm. even if it's temporary mm -hmm. it's like uh it's like i'm the only one who's who's been in the band since, since 20 years back yeah and will people like leave the venue and uh after we've done a couple of shows uh people actually are staying i think that's for the whole show and it's like oh it's all about the music. It's it's not like a hundred. The thing we said before when was, uh, when we talked about worried. Yeah, I think that's, that's one, one of the things we main, main things <laughs> about about it. You know, so, but I think you know, like like Martin said, like worried about what people kind of think. And I I know uh, Crash Diet has a lot of like hardcore fans that have been been there from the beginning especially in these kind of countries and all the kind of stuff but you know it's been, it's been an awesome experience for everybody i think and we're coming along so good so it feels pretty natural for us we're, we're good friends back in stockholm and all the kind of stuff so we're like a big rock and roll family yeah. so uh, i think it's been awesome that's great to hear um so how how is it looking uh, now are you going to continue with this for a long time uh, or how are peter and eric if i may ask uh, we're we're gonna put no <laughs> <laughs> we joked about it yesterday or er, yesterday Pass. Pop. no but uh, I, I think you had a good answer now we're gonna we're gonna continue quit the band and move on <laughs> yeah, exactly we're gonna start a no we're we're, we're born production company and do some other stuff and uh, uh gonna end up we're gonna end up broke that's the thing yeah. that's it no we're but actually peter and eric are peter is getting getting better and eric is having a break as we said before oh. so let's see how it plays up um Probably Peter's gonna come back to the when we play in Finland next time. So yeah, in September. Let's see is this thing called outbird yeah. <laughs> or running into the wall, as we say in Sweden. Yeah. Burnout. It's syndrome. It's a very like a diagnosis that it's very uh, what do you say like unpredictable. You, unpredictable, exactly. Mm -hmm. So so it's really hard to tell, but as long as we got you know we keep on doing it and we're gonna do it do it till we die so mm. you know if peter is still feeling ill we're gonna continue anyway so mm. we have such a like sam and all the like mike and everybody around us we have such a good people around us and we're gonna do it and we do it of course for not for ourselves we're doing it for the fans and mm. we want to bring you know we want to play yeah. we always want to play so yeah. you know it's and I'm, not, I'm not gonna say it doesn't matter, but you know we we're gonna find we will find a way to continue because we this is this is a thing we love. Yeah, and to to Mike and Sam, it feels like you we want to continue with the band, and you can continue with the band. Yeah, 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 we can. Yeah, yeah. No matter what happens, we can continue. You need to say that again. We're having a blast, mm. so we're really enjoying it. So. I don't Ooh, that's agree. Great. No, I'm just. Joking. Well, uh, Crash Dad also has a history with changing lead singers. Um, so, but God, Gabriel, you've been, <laughs> you've been on the band like what six six years or something. Uh, how how do you feel about doing this right now? You're you're not going anywhere, right? Trying. I want to leave, but you know, I got I'm under contract. You know. <laughs> uh, Oh fuck! We own, now they're gonna we sue own me. His family. Yes, fuck. So we can't leave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but you know, it's uh, yeah, it's it's like a question that, that I got asked a lot. 
you know, about mm. taking the role as a lead singer in Crash Diet. And, you know, every everyone, every fan has, is, like, of course, I understand, you know, they, Dave Leppard from the start, the, start, the founder of the band, he started the band. He's legendary for everybody. He's even legendary for me, you know. He's, he's un, unreplaceable in some way. Mm. But we know that he's here somewhere between, between, between us and beside us and everywhere, but, you know. Behind it's us. behind us up but you know and you know you got Oli uh, playing in Rectus Love and now you got Simon and people have their like special like like they have the singers have a special uh, I can't talk no I mean like every fan has their favorite era era yeah of course yeah you put the words in my mouth there very good very good re replacement there. that you know <laughs> and what I'm doing is like I, I want to bring the best of me mm. and I'm trying my best to be to bring what I got and I want to show the fans that I'm I can do this stuff and mm. you know I, I know that I can do this stuff you can you you want to talk yeah yeah hey, you want to talk yeah, yeah so well actually we are uh, starting to think of the next album because we mm -hmm. we released an album last year yeah. called automaton and uh it's getting fucking old it's like over one year old <laughs> and we're gonna start writing new music and if if gabriel is still in the band when we release this, ah, yeah. that album he's gonna have the world record in crash diet albums as a singer oh. so we need to uh we need to keep that yeah no but like i said it's yeah it's always like you know you need to fill some shoes and you know people always compare you that's that's something we have in society people will always compare you but you know i'm very humble and i'm grateful for the response and and the and the support from the fans you know i always see people are like bring simon back bring blah 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 blah, blah. that that that's the thing that you gotta accept you know i'm just trying my best i'm doing what i what I think is the best for the band and I'm bringing everything on the stage yeah and I saw and I do it I think I do it fucking great yeah yeah as I, I as I saw your gig today yeah. you you did w very well thank you very much yes. so that's what I do and I don't think so much about um comparing myself to some other individual or you know so you never should I'm giving my best and that's what I do and I think it about myself and I th think it about the band what's the best for the band and if people don't agree I don't give a fuck so you know you can have your what you think is the best for the band or whatever people always have their opinions so I'm just trying to do my best and I love this band I love the fans they're all awesome and we're just here to because we play, love to play rock and roll and you know that's do it awesome. our way so yeah paint our asses yeah, paint our asses of course obviously uh you already told me that you're you're starting to work on new material so yeah. how uh, how is the process of making new stuff are you going to do it with this lineup that's performing now or are other guys with you in doing new stuff or uh, we go first we go to the church 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 ch church mm -hmm. First we go to the church and then we, um, what do you say in uh, English? Bikta, what say man? Convict. Mm. Convict or uh, confess. Confess uh, to the priest. And then uh, we say a lot of nasty words. And then uh, we go back to the studio and then we do it again. And uh, it always end up in a mess. No, okay. No, I'm just joking. No, you can answer this. Um, well, <laughs> we, um, we haven't done anything yet. Mm. We're just like kind of saying what we wish, but, um, we, uh, we do have plans to like get together and record and, mm. and it's mainly me and Gabriel, yeah. uh, who start the process, you know, um, and uh yeah 
It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> what do we say? Like, basically, we we right? always like, been writing music <laughs> together. I think, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. And I think uh, from from the first time when we met, like a couple of years ago, 2016 or 17, we were like very. I met this guy first time to coffee, and he was like the. I remember this. I remember where it's like, you know, I can't take more than two coffees. I get too nervous. And there's like, I was like, okay. <laughs> the, well, it's like, like the first thing you said to me. <laughs> and, uh, but actually it was really romantic because, you know, from the start, we had a really good chemistry when we met and, you know, I, I am like what I am and, you know, oh shit. <laughs> Welcome. Oh. Wanna sit in the sofa? And yeah. from from the start, like two what two two weeks after, you know, we met, we started to write music, and it's been a very good. We had very good chemistry in writing and in persona from the start. So mm. I think there's no problem. I think we're gonna start soon writing the new album. It's gonna be kick ass, right? Yeah, we just have to get into the right mindset. Because we have like, uh, we don't write around the clock every day of the year. Mm. But um, you know, when we when we when we when we decide to start, we really go all in and, and yeah. start writing a lot of songs. It's good. And I think the time is right very soon. It's time. It's time. It's time. Yeah. That's great. Uh, as you can see, there's already the whole group now. Mm. <laughs> But uh, uh, more the merrier. Uh, but Hello. let's talk about touring. Uh, it's the calendar of looking good. As I remember, you're coming back to. Who is this? Let's oh, take it again. As you can see, we there's already five of us now, or six of us if I count myself. Uh, Shiraz Lane is also represented. Hello. How are you doing? And um, yeah, well, uh, let's continue. Yeah. Uh, as I was uh, asking, uh, how about uh, touring calendar? As I remember, you're coming to Finland on September. Yeah, yeah. we're actually playing. I, I remember the dates. Actually, I'm re really proud of myself. So we're playing the 14th of September in Tampere. Wow! Uh, I said it good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Perfect. Said it good. Mm -hmm. I said it good. Perfect. And then we play in, play in the 15th of September in Turku. And then we're playing the 16 at Helsinki on the rocks. Nahasiel. Nahasiel. Yeah. 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 I, I'm, pre I'm pretty good at languages, so you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Turku. Nice. Next time uh, we're doing Tampere, this again. Helsinki. Um, yeah. Uh, I, know, I know one word in Finnish. Humalainen. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a bit of a homo line in here. The drunken couch. This is a drunken couch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, side. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, how about other plans? How is your summer looking like? Summer. Yeah. It's uh, we're doing this show. We're already done it. Homo <laughs> <laughs> Humalainen. Humalainen. Yeah, so Humalainen is a koi was a we're doing this we have done this show today. <laughs> and then we're doing the next show is in, in July. It's in the Lupolo Rock, I think. It's called Lupolo. No, it's not very Finnish. But it's Lupolo Rock in uh, Italy. And then we're playing in Kungsträdgården in Stockholm. Mm -hmm. It's like a band rock party. Band rock is like a, one of the biggest rock channels in Stockholm. So we do, they have a hosting a, uh, like a free big rock party in the, in the capital of Stockholm. So it's, it's going to be great. And then we're heading to... We're heading next. We play in England. We play in and then Germany. Germany, yeah. 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 So Germany is like in the in the start of uh, September, so it's gonna be a fun summer. Okay. So looking forward to it. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah. And then uh, Shiraz Lane and crashed out. Oh. We're, 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 we're going to the moon and also Mars and Jupiter, I think. No, yeah, yeah. no. Uh, 2025, right? No, we uh, with, with uh, Elon Musk. No, we right? no 26. No, we, sorry, sorry. We, yeah. We're I thank you. To, we're going to hell. Yeah. I thank you very much of this information. And uh, <laughs> I want to thank you all for your time. <laughs> and uh, I wish you a great summer. Thank Likewise. you. Thank you. Can I keep, can I keep this? Thank you.